Hi, everybody. My name is Sandy Boucher, and welcome back to Honorary Indian Daily. Now, in yesterday's recording, I promised you that there was one more thing I wanted to share with you before we got into the daily entries from the book. And honestly, that's the foreword of my book. I don't know about you, but here's where I admit that up until I wrote my book, I really wasn't in the habit of reading the foreword when I grabbed a book to sit down and relax with. I kind of just skipped right past it and went to the meat of the book. Well, if you remember nothing else from these recordings, please hear this. Always read the foreword. That's where the author sends a personal message just to you. And that's what I wanted to do in this recording. Share with you the foreword from Honor Honorary Indian. Tripping over my own words here. Can you tell this is going to be personal and real as if we're just sharing coffee together? Now, if you have my book, feel free to grab it and read along with me. If not, just sit back and relax as I share the foreword from Honorary Indian. An Aboriginal heritage is not mandatory to enjoy the example and the gift of the inner strength, the resolve, the humor, the joy of the First Nations peoples. So in line with one of my most cherished teachings, the medicine wheel teaching, I share with you now all that I am and all that I know so that the colors of man can come closer to completing the circle. This book and the writings it contains were created with one simple purpose in mind, to remind you that you, no matter your heritage, upbringing, or skin color, are indeed a warrior who has survived monumental hardships. It is my hope that by reading my words, by walking a mile in my moccasins, you will begin to see the strength and peace contained in your very soul. And slowly, you will begin to embrace and understand your abilities as you conquer your fears and emerge as the person you were destined to be. I am not an elder, but I am a strong and proud Anishinaabekwe, an Ojibwe woman who is compelled to share all that I am so you too can find the inner peace, the strength, the contentment that I experience every single day of my life. No, I am not an elder, one of the wise ones who has learned many things along his or her long life path but I was blessed to be the daughter of a very wise and strong woman. My mother had a beautiful smile, a laugh from the soul, and a voice that hinted of the immense wisdom held in her heart. But my mother was raised in a time when the opinions of women were unheeded and the words of an Indian unimportant. Yet she spoke to me, and I listened. My mother taught me to see the teachings in every face, in every situation, in every accomplishment, and in every hardship. She taught me how to calm my soul and how to revisit my life without condemnation. She taught me to learn, to laugh, to live, and to love. So now I invite you to walk through my life to experience teachings as they come to me, to analyze as I reflect, to become an honorary Indian. Some passages are written directly to you, as if we were sitting together sharing a pot of tea. Others are simply of me walking slowly through the days of my life. I didn't know who needed to read a certain passage or when. Rather, I just knew I had to write it. It is my hope that as you read and see how I view my world and those around me, you will begin to uncover and see the teachings in your own life and experiences. With practice, I have no doubt you will also begin to experience the solace, clarity, strength, understanding, and peace that make up my world. 
Some passages, I pray, will touch your very soul, and while others may not. Don't worry if this happens, for as the elders explain, you will hear what you need to hear at this stage of your life. Continue reading, skip a page if you feel the need, or return to read a passage as often as you like. Trust that the Creator will guide you to the words you were meant to read. But don't be surprised if you gather more understanding with a second or third reading. Time will have passed between your visits, and by rereading, you will come to understand that the passage hasn't changed, but you have. So, my friend, from this moment on, you are an honorary Indian, one destined to live a life of inner strength and power in the tradition of the majestic warrior, one gifted to learn, grow, and appreciate the teachings held in every single breath, in every face, in every day. So stand tall, my friend, stand proud, and stand strong, simply because... You are. I love you, Mom. Thank you for everything. And there you have it, my friend, the foreword from Honorary Indian. As you can tell from that passage, these audio recordings are going to work for you in the exact same way. You're receiving them by email, which means you will have them for as long as you decide to keep that email. Listen to it over and over. Go back to it if you're having a rough day and you're struggling with something share it with a friend use it in whatever way works for you because we are on this journey together the next recording i'm going to do is going to come out on january 1st as we start our journey together with honorary indian daily until then be well my friend i love you